Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to read .com. Uh, This is kind of a cool watch. Um, this is the Yima, and it's a dive watch with a dive watch style case, but it's digital. Think about that. You really like dive watches, and you want a di but you wanted to have the features of a digital watch, but you want to look cool like a like a you know like a standard dive watch. So that's basically what you have. Um, looks like your typical kind of masculine looking large dive watch um, that's digital and it's got a lot of features that that you couldn't have in a mechanical dive watch. Um, the model name is YMHF0310. So it doesn't have a sexy name, it should. Um, so what does this watch do? Well, there's a lot of pushers on there and there's this little uh, opening right here. Um, and there's this thing right here, so it's got to have a lot of cool stuff to it. Um, so, of course, it has the time, and it has a chronograph, and it has all that other fun stuff, you know, alarm, calendar, things like that. It's got a, it's got a backlight on there as well. Um, it also has a, a dive meter, so it automatically can tell you how deep you're going um, once you're underwater. So, if, when you're underwater uh, five meters or more, it automatically goes into dive mode. And... That's that would be dive mode. There's like a little diver guy right there, and you can interesting. You can set it to whether you're diving in fresh water or salt water. I'm not a dive expert, but there's a chronograph mode. Apparently, that means something. That's a countdown timer. Um, that is the alarm, and there's back to the regular time. And that's really cool. That I you know I don't know a lot about diving, but that's neat that you can kind of switch uh, between those those various modes. Um, it's a big watch. Uh, it's steel, but it's actually really comfortable. I mean, I, I find this to be a very comfortable watch. Um, uh, in the review, I'll go over the specifics, like what the dimensions are, but they did a really good job being comfortable. And I love the fact that they took a digital watch and put it in a sort of standard case that looks like it's made for uh, an analog watch. There's a drawback, though, and, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. There's this rotating bezel right here, right? Um, it's actually bi-directional, but it doesn't matter. Uh, why? Because it doesn't do anything. Because there's nothing on the dial that would at all correspond to having um, a rotating bezel. Usually the bezel matches hands um, on the watch for, for timing use. But this doesn't have hands, nor does it have anything else on the dial that uses that. So uh, I think it looks cool because I like rotating bezels. But it's purely cosmetic here. It's just purely cosmetic. It even has a little loom dot in the tip there. Um, so I guess, no, there's nothing you can do with it except look cool and play with it. If you want to play with it, fine. So if that pisses you off, as it will inevitably piss somebody off, you know, then, then okay. Uh, they have analog versions that have this sort of case. But I just thought this was neat because... You know, in a lot of instances, I like digital sport watches. I think that they're a lot more functional. In a lot of instances, they're easier to read, at least for me. But this is a cool style. So this is a watch that you can wear and get away with in like a lot of circumstances, but it has that sportiness to it. I love on the, on the pushers here, there's that little blue ring. I just think that's really neat. So again, there are, there's, it's, it's kind of a strange watch in concept. But it's fun. I like the combination. Um, it's useful uh, as a digital watch. It has a lot of powerful features that I think are nice. It's, it's really easy to read, and I like that, that negative LCD display that, that's easy to see. Um, but it has that interesting sort of hybrid quality uh, to it. Price for this watch is $695, but I don't think it's ever that price. Um, Yima themselves, especially Yima USA, um, frequently discounts. So that's kind of like a starting point price. So I figure it's going to be probably closer to like, I don't know, $500 or something like that. Um, it is a steel, steel case. Um, one thing that, that kind of interests me is the fact that the, uh, it's not as heavy as you might think it is. I mean, it's actually heavy, but the bracelet's a little light because the bracelet is not solid links. Um, they are folded metal, and they look solid, you know, if you just look at it has a solid look, but on the inside it's folded metal. Um, and that's, that's used for weight, that's used to make it not as heavy, but some people who are purists want solid links. This one doesn't have that. But aside from that, and aside from the fact that it has this kind of um, funny bezel, bezel looks good, again, not, doesn't do anything. Um, this is an interesting watch, and I think it'll appeal to a lot of people. Uh, again, this is the Yima 
YMHF0310 watch, and you can see the full review on a blog to read.com.